Hi, teacher tribe. Happy New Year. I'm back. Maternity leave is over. I am at my new school. I actually have to rewind and tell you about that. I left my other school. Um, the times weren't working. So when I say not working, I mean or not working. I used to get out of school at four. And now with the baby at home, it is not going to be feasible for me. With hubby staying home with the baby while I'm at work, I need to make sure I'm home in time to relieve him so he can go to work in, his, in the evening time. So I had to leave my school. I am temporarily going from perfectly planning second to perfectly planning fourth. If you follow me on Instagram, you're already aware of my switch, but I'm in my new classroom. I started moving things already and forgot I'm not recording. So what I'm gonna do is, so far I have grouped my groupings. Let me flip you around and show you what it's looking like so far. Okay, so here's my main door. From the main door, this is what you get. As you can see, all of my stuff is still out and about. All I did so far was group them. You know I like to do my group, my four groups, because I like to do my competitions. But it's just, it's a lot right now to each a drive. Like, I don't know where to begin. I figured out there's a little space over there, so I'm going to set up my library there. <sighs> I am going to be teaching math and science. That's it. So with that being said, I'm going to be having two classes. So here's going to be my library. Even though I'm only teaching math and science, I can still have my library with books. I'm thinking of keeping this bulletin board. Funny thing is, I have that poster. And I have a poster similar to the plant life cycle. But I think I have a frog life cycle. So I have a different scientific method. So I'm gonna leave this bulletin board and just add my science here. They have a science here, but I don't like it. And mine, of course, matches my theme. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that above the bulletin board. Uh, I don't know, I might still keep this area science-y. I haven't fully put that together. Here they have some supplies. And you know, I have my little white grouping drawers these drawers right there, there's two and there's one. So far, I have my nephew helping, he stepped out while I was recording. Um, I put their chairs in the middle. So my homeroom has 21 students and my second group of students who is in the classroom there, I don't know if you can see, in between on the other side of my planning room, um, they have 22. There were 23 desks in here, so I did three groups of six and one of five. I'm not even touching their name tags. I'm not touching their belongings on the inside because obviously I don't know anybody. So we're gonna organize it during the first week back, which is happens to be next week. Oh, sorry, today is Wednesday, January 3rd. Happy New Year if I didn't say it already. My brain is all over the place, teacher tribes. Like I forgot how to do this. We're gonna get there though, we're gonna get there. There's the math section, there's our computer cart. What bothers me with this computer cart it only holds 16 and that's why there are carts there are like cords and everything all over and there's some more over over on here some more computers so i need to kind of organize this a little bit better because this is not going to work for me you all saw how i had to make it work in my other classroom so we're going to try and find a way to make it work in here too i just have to sort it a little bit better Oh, what else? Okay, so what I'm thinking, so here's math. There's some math vocab on here. And there's some math numbers there with skip counting. I kind of like that. I'm going to take down that math sign, obviously, because I can put up my own. But I like the numbers and I like the math vocab here. I just have to figure, figure out a better way to utilize it. I like this. So I saw something on Instagram where it gives them the opportunity to post their artwork and stuff. So I might keep this like it, but I don't know if I'm gonna redo the bulletin board with my shiplap paper. If I do that one, I'm gonna to have to do this one too. I'm only allowed here today and tomorrow because I report back to work officially Friday when teachers report back here. And it's all gonna be, you know, curriculum and getting into the swing of things. 
it is just 120 so i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know here are their happy birthday stuff the teacher that was here funny enough had a baby and just decided not to come back so they had like a vip stuff up so i might use this spot and put up my birthdays that matches my leafy theme I don't know if I'm going to keep that welcome sign there. There's the bathroom. And this is my little teacher desk area. Obviously, that is going to be changed. Yeah, teacher tribe. I have a lot to do. I don't even know if they can use this. I feel like this is too short for the fourth graders. <laughs> we, we shall see. I have a good space to work with. You all know I'm a planner. I haven't had much time to actually plan since I got to see the classroom briefly when I put all of my stuff in here in December. And this is my second time being in the classroom since then. So had pictures to look at, but pictures don't really do justice. So let me do some stuff and I'll pick you back up shortly. Okay, teacher tribe. Um, I'm not even going to, so I'm just gonna flip you around and show you what I've done. Alrighty now, so obviously this is still not done. I put up my shiplap. I didn't want it to be long ways, but it conveniently worked out perfect for the length. So that's long ways and then this is sideways. So this is my science. I'm gonna take down that science and put my science heading above there. Um, and then my posters that I always have in my library, like the retain your brain stuff, I'm going to put there like I always do. So that's coming down. I'm going to put those two posters there and I'm going to put my science heading above there. For math, I had my nephew take down the map that was up there and my heading will go up there. And my numbers, if you could see it on the table right there, I might put them up in this space there. Conveniently, this is alphabet. This is math alphabet. So A is for area, B is for something. So this is all alphabet, but with math mathematic terms. So that's convenient. I'm leaving that right there. Even though a part of me wants to like level it off because of this gap right there. So I don't know. And unfortunately, everything is stapled on the wall with like a wall, uh, a staple gun. So it's very, it's been challenging to take everything down. But I might level that off because this is going to bother me. And then behind the flag, I might put up my numbers just because it has base 10 as well as a domino that shows the number. So I still might, might put that in this space here. If not in this space, and I don't think there's another spot I can put the flag. I'll go second hang the anchor charts in that space. But what I might just do, I got my calendar up. I already changed the date to the day the students return, which is next week, Monday. So what I might just do, I'm gonna leave this space for student work. So the same way all of they had all of their art hung up there, let me zoom out a little bit. I might just leave that for that purpose. And then I'll get like a heading that says, I don't know, something, what do you think? I could just let them hang up work and if it's work like if it's appropriate i'll thumb tack it up there i haven't figured that part out out yet but this i have my date the calendar i might move it to the corner and take that down i like this the building blocks to a great year i like that but i might move it somewhere else and then here's a math anchor chart there is another version of this long division anchor chart right there same division equation just a different method i might hole punch it and do how i had in my room well it never got up but i had an anchor chart uh, a rod just kind of like this and i put it on um the hooks the book rings and hang it up there the teacher that was here had another rod if you see there i might put that there and hang up all my other anchor charts instead of me putting up my tension rods so that's an idea. There was a bookshelf here. These old things, I already spoke with the principal about getting different furniture. 
So I, I put the bookshelf here and then I will level it off so I can use this for my um, my teacher's editions and everything. Have not touched my desk, have not touched the birthdays. I took a picture of my students' birthdays though so I can redo them to match my theme. Um, here's like indoor recess stuff. I might use that for like morning tubs because we let them in before school starts. So I might let them use that for like miscellaneous things in the morning. As I already showed you, the groupings are done. I added my champs on the wall. We organized the computers. So there's 16 computers in that cart. And then there were some random computers left out because I believe I'll have 21 in my first, my homeroom, 22 in my PM class. The cart holds 16 and then there's remainder. So I have 23 even though technically my cap is 22 because my PM class is 22, but I have 23 computers and we arranged them. So it's kind of neat. And my nephew put them where the cords are like semi hidden besides that one, but they're all like in the background. They're not all just hanging around. This black bag has all of my book bins. I'm contemplating if I should take them out since I have the two classes. If I do, I will put them along here haven't figured that part out yet. These two crates, because if you all remember, my leaf theme also has pink and green because of my sorority colors. So I'm gonna make one class pink and then another class green. So one, whichever the pink class, that'll be their mailbox and the green will be their mailbox. And then I have these turned it in trays. They didn't have the pink trays to match. So I got, I just got black, you can't go wrong with black. So my pink class, which I'm thinking of making my homeroom, will be, turn it in, will be black, and then my PM will be green. So turn things in in pink, or black and green, it's really pink and green, and then they can get their mailbox from pink and green. My treasure box, I have to find a spot for. All of the reading curriculum that, were, that was in these little cubbies, we put in my storage unit. So we're making progress. As you see, my library is up. I don't know if I said that. My scoop rockers, I changed. This was my library, my mailbox in my other class when I had one class. So I just swapped it for the pink and put that there. So black crates are holding our reading. I guess, you know, things that makes them comfortable. Here is my library, all nice and set up. So here's where I'm gonna leave it at the end of day one. Still have a mess, hot mess express. I ended up putting up my own posters here. So these were the posters that were there. I don't wanna trash them in case they did belong to another teacher. And this I'm contemplating if I should still use because it kind of goes with that, the discover and think that's on there. But I ordered more of the shiplap so what I'll do is, it, and the colors look off. I didn't take down the paper that was behind it. So there's a yellow paper here, I just put it on top. There was a black paper there, I just put it on top. So it's, uh, it is what it is. The orange is definitely coming down and I'm gonna put the shiplap up with more of my leaf border there. And then I have my, paint, my pencil painting, I might just stick in the middle with my name on it. I actually like the sound of that, I might just do that hang it up somehow, maybe with some magnets and see if it'll hang up there. But that's where I'm gonna leave it there. In here so far is science curriculum. In the student's desk, I haven't even touched because I'm gonna wait till the students get here. And I'm gonna leave it here for now. More things on the walls. I took out the putty that I have because at my old school, last school year, the walls were the same, were very tough to staple. So I ended up having mounting putty. Thankfully, I kept the extras that I had from previous because I'm gonna use them again now. So that's where we are right now. There are my numbers. So here is the room so far, Teacher Tribe. I have five stools, I had six. When I got returned to my class before winter break, one of them was broken. So now I have five black stools. I'm just gonna put them around my small group table. My pink chair is over there. So the school chair I put over there. Yeah, that's where everything is as of now. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I had my little comfy chair in the library. 
I'm contemplating if I should still put it there and then move this one sticking out to slide it down so I can put my chair in like the middle. Haven't figured that part out yet where I'm going to put that because this I was thinking of using as like a VIP, a VIP chair. So like I have a random student of the day and whoever number that student of the day is will get the VIP chair instead of the regular chairs that everyone else sits in. So that's what I was contemplating doing. And I actually like the idea of that now that I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> I think I saw someone post it on their teacher Instagram. So that's that teacher tribe. I will see you all tomorrow with an update. Bye. Hello teacher tribe. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, January 4th and I am leaving because it is 15 minutes to five and I gotta hurry up and get out of here. Um, I completely forgot to record when I got in. I literally came in and we were just straight to business, but we got a lot done today, which is perfect because today was my last day. I had my nephew here helping me. Tomorrow I officially return to work. So I don't know how much I'll be able to actually get done tomorrow. So I'm gonna quickly flip you around, show you where I'm leaving it, and then I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, so I'm standing in the middle of my classroom and these numbers were on that wall, but when I had to leave, my nephew took them down thinking that's what I told him to do, but it's okay, we made it work. We added the numbers up top and he put my numbers there. Then our alphabet is still there. We straightened up our computers kind of cleaned up a little bit. I added our champs classroom jobs, not jobs, classroom rules were added to the top of the board, so the front of the classroom. Here is our library. I added my chair, just like how I had it in my last classroom. Behind it, oh, I gotta move this. Behind it, we have our scoop rockers and some pillows. Here is our science area. Our curtains are finally up. They're a little long, but they're up and they do the job. Um, my nephew just wiped down this gross counter, but it is still a hot mess express. I'm gonna try and give it some elbow grease tomorrow. Then my treasure chest will go somewhere on there. Still contemplating if I should use book bins. They're in that black trash bag right there. This crate is gonna become jobs, uh, not jobs, um, mailbox for one bunch and that green one is going to become a mailbox for my second bunch if i remember correctly i made green my homeroom and pink my afternoon i thought i was going to do vice versa but i already made my name tags and did them based on that so of course just like at the beginning of the year i have my um teacher letter not letter, teacher card to give to my students. We all put a magnet on the back of it. And then I have little cell phones for their name tags. That's their birthdays. So pink is for one class. And then I have green. I'm trying to show you without like showing you their names, but I have green for another class. And then I have the big phone for me that has their name. So one class there and then another class there. So this is going home with me so I can add my magnets and cut them out and be ready to put them all together by tomorrow when I come in here. Because again, Monday students are here. So yeah, this is how I'm leaving it. My scoop, my um, wobble chairs are gonna go in the storage sometime tomorrow. I was able to put up one painting. Um, this whole back thing is gonna come down. My paper, my shiplap paper um, should be delivered tomorrow. If it's delivered during the day, I can run home, grab it and do this tomorrow. I'm going to take all of that down, put the shiplap up, put my leaf border around just like I did there, put it around and I wanna find a way to hang that the painting up in the middle, if possible. And then I'll hang up like student artwork or whatever notes they give me, I'll put it all around there. So this is how I'm leaving the classroom. Hand signals there, birthdays are up. Their actual birthday hexagons are in that box, which will be cut out tonight. 
and hopefully I can put that up tomorrow. But the birthdays itself is up. So I'm satisfied with how I'm leaving it. I'm glad at least the walls are good. And then I'm gonna put the schedule cards. Schedule cards are here. I'm gonna put magnetic tape and put them, I'll actually take them home. I'm gonna put magnetic tape and put them on the side of the whiteboard. So yeah, teacher tribe, that's how I'm leaving it for Thursday. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Hello, teacher tribe. Happy Friday. Oh, today is Friday, January 5th. And it's that, technically it's dismissal time, but you know, there's no kids. So we're gonna say it's clock out time. It is 3.30, 3.30 on the dot. And I'm heading through the door and I just wanted to give you a quick update on where I am leaving the room. I wanna clean up a little bit more, but I gotta go home to my little boy. So let me flip you around and show you where I'm leaving it for today until Monday. So of course, I'm gonna start from the front door. And here is a quick sweep. Before I leave, I'm gonna shove those boxes in here. But um, this is how I'm leaving it. I cleaned and organized my board here. Date, schedule, their anchor charts. These are the two math anchor charts that they did. I just hole punched them and put them in place. Um, these are theirs that's going to go in their white drawers for each group, but again haven't even done anything with their desks i'm not gonna get too close but i already grouped them based off of what i was told from my neighbor teacher for who can and cannot be next to each other so i have their groups i just need to place them which i might figure out when they get here because obviously monday first day back you're going over repute um routines and expectations and everything so it's literally first day of school so i will deal with that then um i was putting together their mailboxes never got the chance to finish but um i got green folders for my green class pink for my pink and i just got these basic hanging folders i have i didn't put the ones for this class in here yet so that's gonna have to be a monday thing unfortunately i'm only gonna have 15 minutes with them i mean 15 minutes by myself monday morning because apparently we have to open the doors for them so the first half hour before school starts school starts at 8 30 i have to open my door to them at 8 for them to come in and do whatever it is that they do um i was told a lot of teachers have them just read or have them um finish homework or anything but obviously it's going to be the first day back so i might have them come in and take that opportunity to clean out their desks because if you see some of their desks are atrocious clean out their desks um and then i guess i'll tell them where they'll move to so they can start doing all of that good stuff so yeah teacher tribe this is where i left it i got a bookshelf so i'm going to put all of my te's and things on here I'm going to keep this bookshelf there for my things. So my numbers for the date that is underneath the other date. So there's a date um, hanging on the board and I put the numerical version underneath and then there's my calendar. So those numbers are in there. And then of course the last one is my magnets, planning stuff for the week, and then my teacher toolbox. I haven't even gone through these. I don't remember what's in mine and this one was here. So yeah. Ugh. it's more of just trying to get my desk organized and then this table i'm going to put like the turn it in stuff trays here so there's the trays there the black is going to be for my pink group because i they just don't have pink in that tray and then of course the green so i'll set that up here for their turn it in per class and then i'll hang up my ivies the clipboards i'll probably put on the other end of my um treasure box i have the birthdays it just never got cut out so that's going to be my homework over the weekend and then it will go up sometime monday hopefully i have not even begun to go through the manipulatives stuck in these drawers so that's going to be a sometime next week type of thing and then there's science curriculum over there that i never got the chance to go through either so and i have to redo our four t's what are their four th t's think 
uh, talk. Oh my God, I don't even remember what the four T's are right now. I know what they are, it's just, I can't think about it in my brain. Computers are done. That is going, the bag is their book bins. That's gonna get shoved into the closet as well, but it probably will wait until Monday morning. So yeah, Teacher Tribe, I'm heading out of here. I will see you all next week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye, Teacher Tribe.